up early again at 8 we got dressed and in a bit we're going to the train station again because we are heading for Tofino today To go to Portofino, we took a train from Genoa, which travels along the beautiful Italian Riviera and gets us to Santa Margherita. From there, one can either take a bus, a boat or walk. We are at Santa Margherita now and we are walking down to Portofino. It's about 5 km walk. We're by the port right now, where the yachts are. And I'm gonna show you then when we arrive at Puerto you know what it looks like. A sidewalk by the sea, which starts from Santa Margarita, will bring you down to Portofino. It takes about one and a half hours to get there, but the views are stunning. hiking the path uh, at some point it goes like into the woods and you pass by all these beautiful beaches the water is like super turquoise and there are a lot of people on this path but the views are so good so I imagine when we go to Portofino at the end of the path it will be probably packed with tourists and it's only May and they've just barely like opened the borders for tourism here in Italy so I can imagine in high season in summer this is just going to be like blasting with tourists so have that in mind Portofino is an Italian fishing village and holiday resort famous as a favorite vacation place of the rich and the famous during the 1950s. So we actually sat down in this cute gelateria. It's like hidden in the shadow because we were so tired and so hot. What did you get? Pistacchio. Pistacchio. The town is clustered around its small harbor and is known for the colorfully painted buildings that line the shore, the summer yachts and the outlets of high fashion brands, seafood restaurants, cafes and luxury hotels. Oh my god, it's very windy here but we made it to the top which is like the viewpoint here at Portofino and this part is like all sea and then I'm gonna show you the other side. So that's Portofino with the rich and the fancy and the yachts. That's on the way down. So this is the little street that actually takes you up to the viewpoint in the church. Mm -hmm. 
because her feet hurt. It's <laughs> just the drama from yesterday. It's too long, like it's never ending. <laughs> now we're going to grab the bus because we're not walking all the way back. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> and we're going to go to Santa Margarita again. Yes, yes, yes. yes. And then we're gonna see if the sun comes up again and then maybe oh, we'll do uh, some, first, I don't know. First swim. Yeah, for the year. Santa Margarita. Now we are going to get something to eat on the go. It's actually pretty nice. I like it very much. It also has this like kind of rich vibe because there's also a port, but it's much bigger than Portofino. I liked the mocha so much yesterday, which I did back at the apartment, that I decided I'm going to take one of these guys for me and bring it home to Bulgaria so I can make mocha at home as well. So look at it, it's so cute! <laughs> I got a pizza from this place on the go. And it looks nice. <laughs> The resort of Santa Margarita is one of the most attractive on the Ligurian coast. The seafront is the main attraction here with its beach, lively harbor and promenade. The picturesque palm trees, grand buildings and brightly colored houses look as if taken from a boat. So Stacy is going into the water for the first time this year. How is it? But is it cold? Yes. Yes. Okay. She, she didn't like it. <laughs> and I just wanted to show you uh, that from there, I don't know if you can see it from there, uh, Cinque Terre begins. That's a very famous region here in Liguria that unfortunately we won't have time to see. But maybe some other day I will come back and I will go and visit the five villages. But right now, we're having just some relaxed time on the beach. I'm gonna see you back in Genoa. So, we're back at Genoa, and Stacy's now is gonna bring me to a viewpoint where we can see the sea, the mountain, yes. and probably the part of the city as well. Yeah. Yes, so it's supposed to be very pretty, so we're gonna go there and then wander a little bit more and then have dinner okay finally, <laughs> finally. <laughs> okay let's go very beautiful with the sunset now and these colors and the lights are like starting to lit up everywhere it's just very very nice so stacy was telling me about i don't know if you can actually see on the video right there there's like a very long linear building it's called the Bichone and it's a residential building so for any architectural freaks like her <laughs> this will be probably very interesting there's a plane or a helicopter there and i don't know if the gopro does any justice to this view i think that the colors are like not so great but in real life it's actually amazing 
So we're continuing on, right? And for the architecture fix over there, that's not just really architecture, but in this view over there, uh, that is surrounded by the trees, uh, there has lived Charles Dickens. Charles Dickens, and, yes, okay. He Very interesting. He's writing his book there and inspiring and so on. And yeah, fancy villa. So there's some information for you to know. We're continuing. <laughs> okay, guys, so. We are at the viewpoint where we can already see the sea and then turning around we see that view of Genoa It's a very pretty city However, the streets and everything and the way the city is built Stacy has been telling me that it's quite complex and it's not like very easy to get around here in the city but come on look at this it's amazing i love it so i'm tuning in very very fast because stacy is like on the edge of i don't know killing me because she's very hungry we just sat down at the restaurant in one of the main piazzas piazza delle erbe and we ordered pasta. My pasta is with pesto and hers is salsa di noci and they brought us some bread and cheese and I got a, some wine that's like, I don't know, some kind of white wine typical for the region, Ligurian. And now we're going to eat this. This is where we had dinner. It was very good. The pasta was very, very good. I'm very pleased. And now here I'm gonna take some dessert a gelato good morning everyone so we just ate and had coffee and to be honest I'm really not so so much awake but today I'm leaving back to Bulgaria so now we are on the hunt to get some souvenirs for me and my family. And now we're cruising through the city center again. And we're gonna search some souvenirs and then go back to the apartment, pack and go again to Milano to catch the plane. So fingers crossed I'm gonna find what I'm looking for. I got two magnets. But there weren't like any souvenir shops or anything so I just got what I had what they had actually and we're now on the in the port of Genoa Porto Antico see si. si? <laughs> and now we're gonna take a stroll here wander around and that brown thing that you see that's a biosphere built inside of that it's actually very pretty it's so nice i wish i could stay longer <laughs> <laughs> so do you know what's the point of this it's part of the aquarium it's, it's a biosphere you can read here oh. oh when it's lit up it's actually interesting La biosfera. Porto Twenty meter diameter. Okay, so by the way, this behind us is the aquarium. I forgot to tell you, but uh, the Genova Aquarium is supposed to be the biggest one in Europe. Unfortunately, I won't have time to visit it, but I'll have an excuse to come for a second time in Genoa for the aquarium and for a lot of other stuff that we didn't have time to do but it's very pretty I really like this city and I think that it's worth a visit for sure I don't know if you can see him but there's a man up there <laughs> and we're strolling down the port there are a lot of yachts boats but like the coolest thing are like those huge cruise ships like look at this <laughs> this is like enormous it's like a 
residential building. <laughs> it's more than a residential building. You can pack a whole neighborhood inside of this one thing. <laughs> but it's very, very pretty. And then on the back, we see Genova on the hills, the houses, the greenery, and some forts right up there. And that's still the aquarium. It finishes up in a ship like form. So guys, I just ran to the bus stop because I have to take a bus now in Genoa to take me to the train station from where I'm going to get a train to go to Milano. From Milano I'm going to get a transfer bus to the airport and from the airport I'm going to take the plane back to Bulgaria. Oh, I ran here because I thought that I'm going to miss the bus but I'm on time, it's coming. So I'll see you next time I guess somewhere around along the road. Yeah. I had quite a lot of problems with transportation on the way to Italy and on the way back as well. I didn't film it but uh, my train had like a 30 minute delay and I missed one of the airport shuttles so I got to the other one. Um, I almost missed the other. The shuttle almost left without me. I was standing by the bus but it somehow didn't notice me and <laughs> it almost left without me. And thank God that my flight is delayed because otherwise I may have missed my flight. <laughs> uh, so I'm finishing off this video at Bergamo Airport Milan and you may have a nice view behind me. And I will be making quite a lot of videos and vlogs in the upcoming summer. So if you would like you can subscribe to my channel on the travel list and you can give this video a thumbs up see you next time thank you for watching my italian travel vlogs to know more about the destinations i travel to make sure to check out my blog and my instagram accounts linked in the description stay tuned for new videos soon lots of love valentina